Welcome back. This is episode 64 of the Veterinary Business Video Show. In today's show, we'll see what we can learn from a character in a TV sitcom and consider how to deal with a member of your staff overcome by emotion. We'll ask how best to acknowledge staff achievement. We'll hear from a practice manager on the video show Soapbox. And I'll offer you my quick business tip for this episode. I'm John Sheridan. And this is the show that helps practice owners, managers and clinicians just like you to build your successful practice into a great business. Now that I'm not as young as I once was, I'm in danger of turning into a grumpy old man. Almost every time I read a newspaper or watch the news on television, there's something to get angry about. And my wife and I both acknowledge that we might have become the Victor and Victoria Meldrew of West Sussex. For those of you who don't live in the UK and who don't know what I'm talking about, Victor Meldrew was a fictional character and an archetypal, archetypal grumpy old man in the popular BBC TV comedy sitcom One Foot in the Grave. We all feel angry at times. It's a natural response to threats and attacks injustice and disappointment. Anger is a powerful emotion and can have a significant impact on your daily life, on relationships, achievements and mental well-being. The impact may of course be negative and destructive, but it can also act as a stimulus to make things better. Here's a clip in which Tom Peters talks about anger as a trigger for innovation. It is my belief that by and large, there is one and only one source of innovation, whether it's internal ISIT systems, recruiting systems, or whether it's the development of a technical product. And that source is pissed off people. That source is angry people, people who are determined to make a change. They will go to their grave trying to change things. And mainly, I think it's the case because when you do try to change anything, a simple piece of a system or what have you, you get resistance. People don't like things to be changed internally or externally. And so you have got to take the heat. You've got to take the fury of people's lives that you're trying to change. Juan Tripp was the founder of Pan Am. And somebody wrote about him and said this, what drove Tripp? A fury that the future was always being hijacked by people with smaller ideas, by his first partners who didn't want to expand airmail routes, by nations that protected flag carriers with subsidies, by elitists who regarded flight like luxury liners as privilege that could only be enjoyed by the few, by the cartel operators who rigged prices, The democratization he affected was as real as Henry Ford's. And I think whether it's one trip in an airline, or again, whether it is a 26-year-old who thinks a purchasing process is the stupidest thing that he or she has ever seen in their life, that is the source of innovation. What's the bottom line? Don't get rid of your angry and furious people who are annoyed at you by the way you do things now. Sure, it can go too far, but if you believe what I'm saying, fury, anger, irritation, pissed off people is the only serious source of innovation. Only, period, one, singular. What's your view? What makes you really angry in your career in veterinary practice? I really would welcome your views and feedback. Just send me an email or add your ideas and suggestions.